You decided to go scuba diving for the first time. The water is clear and the sun is shining on the seabed. You take a few selfies and the fish swimming by when suddenly the ocean goes pitch black. You look up and, oh my, what is that gigantic animal? It's definitely not a shark, not a whale. Is it a turtle? Yep, but fear not, it's not gonna hurt you. If you had lived on this same earth about 72 million years ago, then maybe this could have really happened to you. Scientists have recently found the fossils of a gigantic marine turtle that could have grown as big as 12 feet. If you don't have any idea of how big that is, let's see some examples. That's the average length of a hippopotamus. Six golden retrievers or two Michael Jordans stacked on top of each other. The turtle's scientific name is an homage to that old-school sea monster called Leviathan. Maybe you remember this from old-school history lessons. The Leviathan is supposedly a mythical creature that would swallow entire ships or people that were deemed too greedy by the creature. Can you imagine being swallowed by this humongous sea turtle? No, thank you. The fossils of this gigantic creature began to be excavated between 2016 and 2021, all the way in northeastern Spain. The first fossil was located by a hiker in the Spanish Pyrenees, and it was around 8 inches long. The pelvis of this turtle alone measured around 35 inches. It would definitely be one of the biggest turtles today if it hadn't gone extinct. FYI, the largest living sea turtles today can reach up to 6 feet in length, which is already pretty big. Now, how about a gigantic prehistoric scorpion? I bet most people here are not huge fans of these creatures, especially since they're poisonous, which is why the thought of a 9-foot-long aquatic scorpion might be the stuff of nightmares. Let's just say that if they hadn't gone extinct some 400 million years ago, Lakes and rivers would be much more dangerous places for humans today. These gigantic insects were considered to be apex predators in their time, hunting everything from fish to other animals, even of their own kind. Yikes! I got goosebumps just imagining these creatures. Should we thank the asteroid that hit our planet now or later on in this video? Another prehistoric animal that would shock humans if it were still alive is the so-called megatherium, a gigantic sloth. This huge sloth is believed to have grown up to 20 feet long, and its weight could be up to 8,000 pounds. It was found in the woodlands and grasslands of South America. The creature used to stand on its two feet in order to reach leaves on high branches. These giant sloths had huge claws. They helped them climb trees. I gotta say, I feel uncomfortable imagining these elephant-sized sloths climbing trees. Oh, of course. Some dinosaurs will make our super-sized creatures list. But before that, here's a fun fact. Did you know some dinosaurs are still alive today? Scientists have proven that birds are classified as theropod dinosaurs. Such infamous creatures as the T-Rex, and Velociraptor belonged to this group. I'm sure you've heard these names even before you watched Jurassic Park. The Velociraptor is that scary dino that breaks into the kitchen. Well, they evolved, gained some feathers, and turned into various species of birds we know today. That means that any bird from chickens to those little blue ones is a direct descendant of dinosaurs. Now, does the name Spinosaurus ring a bell? You can see this huge dinosaur in some museums today. It's fossils, I mean. The Spinosaurus was one of the biggest land predators to walk Earth. Actually, to walk its land and water. Since scientists believe that this dino was semi-aquatic. It fed mostly on meat, which means humans would be its natural prey if it lived today. This meat-eating dino lived around 90 to 100 million years ago. It was about 60 feet long, 12 feet high, and weighed up to 22 tons. 
Its head was around the size of eight bowling balls and was shaped like a crocodile's face. Basically, the Spinosaurus was a big African elephant with the face of a crocodile. Just kidding. But that would look funny though, wouldn't it? A much more attractive dino was this guy. It's considered to be the largest dinosaur that has ever lived on our planet. What made it so big was its extremely long neck and very long tail. You wouldn't want to stand behind this creature, believe me. If it decided to swish its tail, you'd get catapulted very far away. This creature lived around 100 million years ago, and its fossils were first found in Argentina around 2012. The dino measured 120 feet from head to tail, which made it almost as big as an American football field in width. Hmm, and have I mentioned it weighed almost as much as a space shuttle? A staggering 75 tons. If it had been a carnivore, it would have probably been the greatest predator. But this big guy was a peaceful herbivore that had such a long neck that it could eat leaves from high trees. Cute, right? We must also talk about the Shastasaurus. As the name suggests, this animal is popularly known as the Mount Shasta lizard. Even though it was a marine reptile and probably never set foot on the mountain itself, this dino was usually around 23 feet long, but there was a specific strand of this species that could get as big as 69 feet long, about the size of the great blue whale. This made it the biggest marine reptile to have ever lived. A fun fact about the Shastasaurus is that scientists believe it didn't even have teeth, which means it could only feed on soft-bodied prey, such as squid, for example. The next animal on our list is the blue whale. Believe it or not, the biggest living animal on Earth actually started small. These days, the average mature blue whale can reach up to 100 feet in length and weigh up to 200 tons. That's more or less the weight of 40 elephants put together, or 30 Tyrannosaurus rexes, or 2,670 average-sized people. Blue whales have to eat up to 50 million calories per day to support that body. That's the equivalent of 30,000 Big Macs, just FYI. But blue whales weren't always this big. They actually evolved from a four-legged mammal that lived on Earth around 48 million years ago. Their ancestor was called Pachycetus, and it was only six feet long. Here's a fun fact. To be able to live in the water as one does today, the blue whale had to go through some intense adaptations. A blue whale can replace up to 80 to 90% of oxygen in its lungs each time it takes a breath. A human replaces only up to 15% for comparison. It allows these animals to dive for up to one hour at a time, down to a staggering depth of 330 feet. Elephants were bound to make the list. Elephants are currently the largest land animals on Earth. They can grow to be about 13 feet tall and weigh up to 7 tons. That's pretty small if we compare it to the other animals that once lived on Earth, right? But if we placed a 6 foot tall human next to an elephant, we'll see it's not at all that small. African elephants are bigger than their close relatives, Asian elephants, and they have a similar lifespan to humans, up to 70 years. Pokemon might have made us collectively wish that salamanders were real-life dragons. Although, they're not. They can still be pretty cool, though. There's a giant species of salamander that is known to be the largest living amphibian. They can grow to be as long as a regular-sized human, reaching up to six feet. I bet that wouldn't be a pleasant underwater encounter. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.